Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusilla Shay, if you don't know already. And today I am gonna be walking you guys through my suggestions on what to wear to a baby shower as a guest. Now, similarly, I did a video on what to wear to a bridal shower as a guest. And I told myself that if that panned out pretty well, I would do a baby shower version. Funny thing though, is that someone even requested that I do the same kind of video, but with a baby shower. And so today I'm gonna be walking you through some tips and suggestions on what to wear to a baby shower as a guest and this applies to all seasons i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging so if you are interested then stay tuned okay guys so before we get into my breakdown of my different tips for each season i have three basic overall tips that i want to share with you guys first of all as i said in my other video it's super important to always check to see if there's a dress code now these days events are like they're leveling up okay and now everybody's like throwing these extravaganzas and having all these themes and it's all fun and games but it's not gonna be fun and games for you if you show up and you not dressed to code it's always good to just double check because your girl knows how that feels okay and a lot of these baby showers don't necessarily have a dress code but always just good to make sure you read over the invite or if you want to double check with the person who's hosting and throwing the event that would also be a good thing to do secondly I've been to quite a few baby showers as a guest myself and there tends to be a lot of games that are played a lot of fun activities so I would recommend no matter what season you're going to a baby shower it's a good idea to not wear something that's too constricting you play games like build a diaper or something I don't think it's called build a diaper but essentially you have to get up you have to like actually be active so it would be a good idea to not have clothes that are not gonna allow you to be very active or be comfortable when you are involved in those activities activities so you can still be very stylish and also you never know especially if you are close friends or family you might end up helping out at the event so it's definitely a good idea to not be wearing something that's super uncomfortable and my third general tip is just to make sure that you keep it PG okay usually baby showers are family friendly events you got your aunts you got your I was gonna say uncles I mean I don't really see uncles at baby showers like that unless they upstairs watching TV. But anyway, you got your cousins, mom, sister. <sighs> this ain't the club. This ain't speed dating. Okay, keep that in mind. And also, I would just advise to probably not wear something too loud and stand out-ish. Something that like you would probably wear to like a festival or something that's just extremely loud. You probably don't want to wear it to that kind of event. So with that being said, I am going to jump into my three tips for baby shower guest attire when it is the spring and summer. A lot of baby showers that take place in the summer or in the spring happen outdoors okay whether it's in a backyard whether it's in a park whether it's in the front lawn I don't know man it'd be happening outside a lot it'll just be a really good idea to probably wear flat shoes or if you're not gonna be wearing flat shoes to probably wear a chunky heel something that's not skinny because if it happens to be in the grass you just don't want your heel to be like digging in the grass and so you want to be comfortable because I've also been to a baby shower where like the floor was not leveled and it was on grass. So it just would not be a good idea to be wearing heels in that situation. And so it's always good to consider location. For my second tip, it's a nice season in terms of the weather, okay? This is when it's warm. I would recommend having fun with different colors, patterns, and designs. I'm talking gingham. Is it gingham? Ging gingham. Y'all yeah, know what I mean. Floral, stripes, light colors. I'm talking just fun, nice summer and spring type of attire. Again, you want to keep in mind the fact that you don't want anything to be constricting. Something that I really love in the springtime especially are wide leg pants. It's a really good idea to wear wide leg pants because it allows you to still be flexible and comfortable, but it's also still really stylish. You can either really dress it up with a dressy top or you can wear a more simple top and it'll still look like you came ready, right? It doesn't look like you're underdressed. It doesn't look like you're overdressed. So I think that wide leg pants is actually a great way to go. And last but not least, if you are going to a baby shower in the spring or summer and you really don't know what to wear, loose fitting things are always a hit. I'm talking chiffon, linens, silk, satins, 
those are the kind of materials that always go well for that occasion because they tend to be pretty light and airy and like I said this is for the spring and summer so obviously you don't want to wear material that's very heavy and these materials also tend to be pretty dressy when it comes to at least silk satin chiffon things like linens can be a little bit more casual depending on the outfit itself but you can gauge depending on the dress code the location of the baby shower and things like that so now we're gonna move on to ideas on what to wear for a baby shower when it's the fall and the winter time. Now, although fall and winter, you probably don't see as many vibrant colors, you don't see as many fun prints and patterns, you can definitely still have fun with your look. Trust and believe, okay? We don't we don't need to get boring when it turns cold. What I recommend is going for things that are a little bit softer in color, but you can do rich colors and you can do fun prints and patterns. So instead of maybe like a bright pink that you would probably wear in the summertime, you can go for like a mauve. Instead of like a bright blue, you can probably go for like a royal blue. Instead of like a bright red or something, you go for like a burgundy or a wine color. So it's easy to kind of just transition it to slightly softer and moodier colors to fit the season. Now this is not to say that you cannot wear brighter colors. Obviously if you want to wear lighter colors in the winter time, in the fall time, it's up to you. This is not like a fashion rule or restriction restriction of any kind. You just gauge and determine based off of the event and the vibes what is appropriate to wear. But these are just suggestions that I see fit for the season and also for the event. I feel like richer colors are also a way to not be like boring and really dull just because it's winter and fall time. So when it comes to the winter patterns, so when it comes to the winter patterns, okay, like I would recommend things like houndstooth. What houndstooth item you know don't hit? Like, come on. I feel like it always looks a little bit dressier. You can do moodier type of florals because florals aren't always like bright and light. They also have moodier type of florals, darker designs. You can also do checkered print. And then I would also recommend animal print, okay? This is when animal print really starts to shine. I'm talking cheetah print. I'm talking zebra print. I'm talking snake skin. You can have an all black look, but you throw on that animal print sweater. That's all you need. If you wanna just like spice things up, you don't wanna like be all boring and dull. Animal print. So for my second tip, something that I wanna say is that you don't always have to wear pants, okay? You can still be a little bit dressier and wear a skirt. You can wear a sweater dress. In terms of a skirt, obviously if it's gonna be colder, I would recommend wearing a winter type of skirt where it's like thicker and then you can put on tights or you can do a thicker sweater dress and put on tights. I think that those two things are very easy to pull off. Now for my last tip for what to wear to a baby shower in the fall and the winter, if you are really stuck, something that never fails is pants with a sweater, pants with a flowy shirt, or pants with a blazer. It's never gonna be too much and it's never gonna be too little. They're always right where they need to be so that you fit the occasion. Now, of course, it's not gonna fit the occasion if this is black tie, honey. That one, I don't know what to tell you. Like I said, you gotta read the dress code, baby. But along with that last tip, once again, it's a good idea to not wear anything too constricting. So consider that if you are gonna be wearing pants, obviously jeans are really popular in the fall and in the winter. Pants a lot of times tend to be fitted, right? But there are those pants that have a good amount of stretch. I'm not talking about leggings. There are some, you know, dressy pants that have good stretch, but they look dressy. Things like that is probably what you want to go for. You still want to make sure that you're completely comfortable and you're not wearing anything that's going to be super constricting. Hey guys, I completely forgot to mention this in my original video, but I know that a lot of people get caught up in what colors to wear to baby showers. If it's a girl, should I wear pink? If it's a boy, should I wear blue? If I don't know the sex of the baby, what should I wear? Essentially, I wouldn't get too caught up with that, but if you do know the sex of the baby, you can choose to wear more traditional colors for that sex, but it really doesn't have to be that strict. It really depends on what kind of person you are and how traditional you are with colors so for me personally I am a little bit more traditional so I do like wearing 
pink or more you know bright vibrant colors to a baby shower where i know it's a girl and i like to wear like blues and greens and such when i'm going to a baby shower where it's a boy but at the end of the day you choose and you decide what color is best to wear however if you are still feeling a little bit iffy and hesitant about what color to wear there are a bunch of neutral safe colors i would say to wear you can do oranges yellows grays beiges green and also red colors so i hope that this helps but if you have more questions about colors or anything else you can go ahead and leave it in the comments so with that being said guys i gave y'all all the tips now please keep in mind that all the images that i'm showing you guys if they are shoppable i will leave all the links down below so you guys can actually shop these things for yourself but if you know by the time you see this video the item has been sold out or is no longer available that's fine you can always find something similar or use something similar in your closet pretty much the whole basis of this video is just to give you guys ideas so i appreciate you guys so much for watching and thank you for those who have left comments in my previous video suggesting this one and thank you in advance for leaving comments under this video i appreciate you go ahead don't leave your girl hanging okay let me know what you guys think down below what kinds of things that you always fall back on when it comes to attending a baby shower also please do feel free to suggest any other video ideas that you want me to do so don't forget to subscribe before you leave don't think that i forgot to mention because I will never forget to mention, okay? Don't leave your girl hanging. Please go ahead and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notification button so that anytime I post, you will be up to date. Alrighty, guys, God bless you and I will see you in my next upload next Sunday. Deuces.